But, um, and we're dealing a little bit, because we're trying to show you this and get the right camera angles, I, I'm a little less free to change everything I want to change to get the exact shot I want. But hopefully you're seeing enough of it that you recognize that, oh, okay, you wouldn't have that light there and you wouldn't have that shadow there. Um, all right, Wyatt, we're going to try something different. We're going to have you stand up. Um, you can take a break from this unless you want to say anything to the internet. I don't have anything to say to the internet. <laughs> That's a quote from Wyatt. I don't have anything to say to the internet. Except Ichiro rocks. Ichiro rocks. All right. Grab that. You bet. Um, let's take the situation that um, Wyatt is uh, apt to do whatever he wants to do, and I can't contain him. So I'm just going to shoot with the intention that I'm not lighting him in a spot. I'm not lighting him on a chair. I'm not lighting him in respect to any sort of backdrop. I just want a general lighting system so I don't get in trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this <coughs> soft box down. <laughs> ah. I'm laughing because this was assembled minutes ago, and some of the um, knobs are in the wrong spots. <laughs> this is awesome. Talk about anything can happen. <laughs> well, people on the internet, Tamara, are loving that it's live. They're saying, good improv, Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. Neil Cowley wants to know if Ichiro eats souffle. We don't oh. know. <laughs> nice one, Neil. Is he a souffle of gorgeousness? We don't know. Um, Does his I wife make souffle? <laughs> I would normally have a panel in front of this light, but we can't find it. Um, but I would normally have a little bit more diffused. And we're going to just do what we can with what we've got right now. All right, fantastic. Just if you can look at this seamless real quick, do you see how there's some shadowing right here? I don't want this here, but we need to ignore it for the sake of being able to film this, okay? So we don't see those shadows back there anymore, okay? What would you do to fix them? What would I do to fix those? I mean, if you could. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut these windows because I'm having shadowing issues. Do I know how to do this? That looks like it's going to open the window, I think it's so there. I wouldn't pull that one. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! All right, so in my studio, I have windows similar to this where there's a bank across, and they're really big and really wide, and they're east-facing, pretty sure, um, which gives me a nice kind of um, swath of light, you know, at any time during the day, so I get some great even lighting. I have two sets of blinds on top of them. The one set I have is a blackout shade, the second set I have is a diffuse kind of, similar to some sort of scrim, but more of a diffuser actually. And um, the blackout shades, if I want to control my lighting as best as possible, I put the blackout shades up, I knock off the overhead lighting, and I completely can, can use my lights to control the shot. If I have, um, I want some of this light to come in, I want it to come in kind of softly, I lose the blackout shades and I just use the diffuser and that way I don't have to worry about combating some of the shadows. Um, what we're dealing with right now, if I move this light around in the front, do you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. That shadow is actually coming from back there behind you guys for a light that we need to set up the shot. So we're just going to have to make some concessions and understand certain things wouldn't be an issue if we were shooting in a studio without extra lighting. So we're going to ignore that shadow. Can you all do that with me? Say, we don't see the shadow. We don't, no we shadow. don't see the shadow. shadow. Yeah. What? What? what are you talking about? What? It's so weird. Why do you see that shadow? <laughs> this is put inside. <laughs> How to take an extremely Anthony. awesome piece of equipment <laughs> and build it in four seconds. When we told you we didn't know how to put it together, we weren't lying. <laughs> <laughs> I said to them before the, the break, it was, the break all, was going. It was all Anthony, okay? <laughs> Somebody jump up here and fix this. Who, can, um, who feels really good at fixing this? I, I think you're the only one that feels really good about doing it. I know, but then I have to take it apart again. All right. Westcott lots are so fantastic that they don't even need to be assembled correctly <laughs> to be able to use them, and that's what I'm going to do here today. All right, Wyatt, get on the ground. <laughs> Ready? Do me a favor and just sit like crisscross applesauce. Right. Very good. Thank you, sir. This 4x8 reflector again, since I've changed the main light, I need to change the fill light, right? 
Before the main light was over here, we had this come in through here, and I had the reflector bouncing it back. Now, I need to adjust if I still want to use some sort of reflective light to be here. Here's the other, it won't fall in you, I promise. Here's the other great thing about um, a four by eight reflector like this, is that I can shoot inside here. I can adjust the light and shoot inside here if a kid wants to play peekaboo or something silly. I can shoot against it with this far in the backdrop. It becomes basically, it gives me the opportunity to have a near 360 degree lighting setup because I normally will shoot with one here and one here and a white seamless. So that's kind of lovely. All right, I want to show you how if I want to shoot with a reflector and I don't want to carry it and I want to do a nice close up, how I can do that in a studio. Can you do me a favor and hold this? Yep. Or this side or this side? What do you like better? Okay. Okay. See how I'm not actively reflecting on him because that's going to be way too harsh? But I can, again, I'm doing similar to if I'm using that little fill flash, like a little pop of light. Um, when I told you I use in the front of my METS camera, that's what I do. That's kind of similar to what I'm doing. And will you look at me real quick? Good. Do you see how, I'm going to take this shot so you can really see it. Um, is that a little heavy for you, honey? Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. It's not too heavy. What I'm going for is I've got um, an adjusted main light. It's right in front of him. I've got this wrong window camera. light. Wrong Got this window light coming in. I've got the reflector. And what I want to do with all this light bouncing around him is still not get reflections in the glasses. I still want catch lights in the eyes. And I still want him well and evenly lit. And then somebody needs to write in from the internet with a new factoid about Suzuki. I mean, Ichiro. 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 <laughs> Guess what Tamara doesn't know a lot about? Yeah. <laughs> And also the entire sport of, that's right. <laughs> um, I would love to know a new fact that maybe Wyatt doesn't already know because he knows a lot of this stuff. Um, the trick here and the thing I really want to show you is now that I've moved the main light and I've adjusted for this, we're ripe to have all kinds of new issues with um, reflections and backlighting, all that sort of stuff, and I need to adjust that. The other thing I need to adjust with ho hopefully not burning myself is... Um, all right, I'm gonna try something crazy and just take this off, is now that I've moved my main light down, I've moved my subject down, I'm moving my camera down, um, I do need to change the background light a little bit. Will I set anything on fire if I do this? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Can you hold? It's so flippin' hot. I want it to skim across here. Maybe our next break, we can figure out how to bring those Westcott lights in. So I can show you because the, the e <laughs> this is great, because I get to show you how hard it can be versus how easy it can be. The reason this could be very easy is if I had a hair light back there, I would just tilt it. I would tilt this little light um, towards the backdrop, and I would eliminate those shadows. And that's it. With a continuous light source, that's all I have to do. Down like this with him on the TD5, the nice thing about this, I don't know if you can film into this light or if it's too crazy, but if you look in this light, yeah, it's sharp. Let me shut these off so you can look at them. Okay. Do you see what's going on in here? What's going on is I have five lights, four very large ones, and one middle one in the middle that has a little bit of a different um, power to it. And the, the lovely thing here is I'm not um, using any sort of ratios. I'm not doing any f-stops. I'm not bumping it up or down. I'm merely turning on the lights I want and turning off the lights I want to control how much lighting I want. I mean, how flippin' easy is that? I'm like, ah, oh, that's too bright. Okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, that's too bright. That's better. That's what I'm doing here. That's how I'm adjusting for my light, and that's how I'm keeping it simple, but I'm also using really nicely balanced light with my child. So we're back to here. Oh, is that too squinty? How about here? Now I'm just messing with it. <laughs> All right, so cool. I'm bringing the light down. I've actually knocked this down to about uh, two, two lights are out. I've got this. And I'm going to shoot in the direction of assuming there's no shadowing. Here you go, ready? And then if I'm shooting, I'm going to do two shots. The first shot I'm going to show you is where you would have the reflection, and the next shot would, would not have it. And this is 100% me, okay? So if I'm shooting like this, I love your face, excellent. I'm going to shoot one shot to show you how easily you can get reflections in glasses 
Tell me if that showed up. There you go. There you go. You see it? Mm -hmm. You see the reflections in the glasses? Mm -hmm. And then the exact same shot is all that happens is I change my position. And he stays the exact same way. Now I'm going to lessen those shadows for him, those reflections for him. Whoa. Uh, you know what happened? Can you see what happened there? He dropped the reflector. Do you see the shadowing? Or the, how sharp that is? That's not your fault, sweetie. That's mine. Okay, ready? Let's come back in. Are you doing such a great job, aren't you? Okay, we'll bring the reflector back up so we don't have that lighting right in the front so dark. Okay. Do you see how the reflector made all that difference? Let's look at that real quick because I think that's really important. Let's start back here. So that shot, I'm shooting from an angle that is forcing him to have reflections in the glasses. So he's not moving, my light's not moving, I'm moving to get rid of those. Now they're gone. Now all I have is these really cool catch lights, but he dropped the reflector a little bit. Totally my fault, that's too big for you. He dropped the reflector a little bit, and I got that shadowing came back, and it was too underexposed around his eyes. So we popped the reflector back up. I adjusted my um, shutter speed a little bit, and I got him better exposed, and I got those catch lights in, and I lost the reflections in the glasses. Those are gone as well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fix your shirt in the back. Fix my shirt? Did you Stuck guys get that? that? <laughs> yeah. Pause. We're just pausing for a second. <laughs> hey, Wyatt, we yes, have some yes, facts yes. for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Good idea, actually. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to give um, Wyatt a little break. I think we're running long on this, longer than we thought. Um, and we're going to come back after lunch. Are we, we're going to come back at 2 o'clock. What time is it now? 1.30. Okay. We're coming back at 2 o'clock Pacific time, and we're going to bring in a mess of kids. We're going to reconfigure this lighting so that we can have a little bit more flexibility. And we're going to show you shooting up top on kind of a crazy area with just window light. We're going to show you shooting on the seamless. We're going to show you shooting against brick wall. And we're going to show you shooting against three or four backdrops that we just made up and put together um, and show you how to use that. So it'll be a little bit chaotic, but we're going to get everything in place. And uh, we'll be back here at 2 o'clock Pacific time. And then after that, we're doing the de design budget challenge. We're going to show you how to outfit a studio on the cheap under $250, where you get a ton of stuff that can really help you make your shooting better. All right, we'll see you a little bit. Yay. And thanks to Wyatt. Thank you, 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 Wyatt.